Hello gamers and welcome back to the channel. This is Papa Brad for Papa Brad's Gaming where we dive deep into the classic games that defined an era. Today we're going to explore the fascinating sequel from Data East, Crude Buster, also known as True Crude in North America. But before we get into that, let's take a quick look back at its predecessor, the iconic Bad Dudes. Bad Dudes, released in 1988 by Data East, is a classic beat-em-up arcade game that became a staple of late 80s gaming. The plot is simple. President Ronnie has been kidnapped by ninjas, and it's up to our heroes Blade and Striker to rescue him. With its straightforward gameplay, memorable one-liners, and intense action, Bad Dudes captured the hearts of gamers everywhere. The success of Bad Dudes led Data East to develop a sequel, which brought a new level of action and excitement. Enter Crude Buster. Released in 1990, the game took the beat-em-up formula to a post-apocalyptic world filled with mutants, gangs, and of course, crude humor. In Crude Buster, players take the roles of two muscle-bound mercenaries tasked with taking down a terrorist organization known as Big Valley and a devastated New York City. Unlike Bad Dudes, which had a more traditional street fighting vibe, Crude Buster is set in a gritty, dystopian future. Everything can be used as a weapon, including cars, street signs, and even parts of the environment. What makes Crude Buster stand out is its over-the-top action and humor. The characters are exaggeratingly muscular, and the game doesn't take its too self too seriously, which adds to its charm. The graphics were a significant step up from Bad Dudes with more detailed environments and larger sprites. To me, this game exemplifies the 90s extreme movement. Everything in the 90s was extreme. This is a very extreme game. Love the comic book action bubbles. While Bad Dudes has more traditional 80s action movie feel, Crude Buster embraced the wild anything goes attitude of the early 90s. The gameplay mechanics were refined, offering more interactive and destructible environments making each playthrough unique and exciting. One of this game's strengths is the amazing variety of bosses that this game has. Pump it up, stay cool. Gotta get some power cola. Fight. Let's fight. Jingle bell, jingle bell. One of the coolest parts of Crude Buster is the Christmas level. Complete with snow. An emboss battle with a robotic arm. And get ready for one of the most iconic moments of retro gaming. Of course I'm talking about the famous Psycho Santa. That is inside Crude Buster. Psycho Santa. <laughs> Hypodermic needles and grenades. This is crazy. Only in the 90s could they get away with this. Nice knowing you. What a day. Another cool 90s reference is the obvious Sabretooth ripoff that's in this game. Sabretooth was amazingly popular in the 90s. Of course, Sabretooth is the arch rival of Wolverine. And, you know, as far as extreme, Sabretooth was very extreme. And also very 90s.
Pump it up. Stay cool. One interesting fact about Crude Buster is its localization. When it was released in North America, it was renamed Too Crude, likely to emphasize the game's co-op feature in its crude and edgy style. Despite not reaching the same level of fame as Bad Dudes, Crude Buster has a dedicated fan base that appreciates its unique take on the beat-em-up genre. Tough you are. I wish to have you for my lab to experiment. Someday I will build my empire again. Until then, no kidding. Get out of our sights. Hey, we made it. We've got a big prize. Yeah, it was a bit hard though. Get out of here and have a drink, pal, okay? Thanks to Crew Buster, New York is saved out of the evil hands of Big Valley. Crude Buster, born to fight not always for the crude of justice. They are the men of fighting. Keep going on Crude Buster for another combat. Today Crude Buster is remembered fondly by retro gamers and collectors. It's a testament to Data East's ability to create engaging and entertaining games that still hold up even decades later. So whether you're a fan of Bad Dudes or just discovering Crude Buster for the first time, this game is a must play for anyone who loves classic beat-em-ups. Thank you for joining us on this trip down memory lane. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more retro gaming content. This has been Papa Brad reminding you to always stay legit.